Roll Call is a newspaper and website published in Washington, D.C., United States, when the United States Congress is in session. Roll Call reports news of legislative and political maneuverings on Capitol Hill, as well as political coverage of congressional elections across the country. In addition to breaking news, the paper features analysts such as Kate Ackley, Niels Lesnevsky, Stuart Rothenberg, and Nathan L. Gonzalez. Roll Call has an online version as well, publishing in-depth features, breaking news stories, infographics, award-winning photojournalism, original video series, and over a dozen email newsletters. In 2017, Roll Call's regular columnists are Walter Shapiro, Jonathan Allen, Mary Curtis, and Patricia Murphy. Roll Call was founded in 1955 by Sid Udane, who was working as a press secretary to Congressman Al Morano R. Khan, at the time. Udane published the inaugural issue on June 16, 1955, with an initial printing of 10,000 copies. In 1986, Udane sold Roll Call to Arthur Levitt, who was serving as the chairman of the American Stock Exchange at the time of the sale. Udane continued to work as a columnist at Roll Call after the sale. The Economist Group acquired Roll Call in 1993. Today, Roll Call is the flagship publication of CQ Roll Call, which also operates. CQ, formerly Congressional Quarterly, publisher of a subscriber based service for daily and weekly news about Congress and politics, as well as a weekly magazine. Roll Call merged with CQ in 2009 after the latter company was purchased by the Economist Group, Roll Call's parent company. In July 2018, a deal was announced for CQ Roll Call to be acquired by FiscalNote. Every issue of Roll Call is delivered to Congress and to the White House free of charge. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Congressional Baseball Game In 1962, Roll Call began sponsoring the annual Congressional Baseball Game for charity. In 1965, the first Roll Call trophy was awarded—to the Republican team, which was the first team to win three games since Roll Call began its sponsorship. Since then, a new trophy has been awarded to the next team that wins three games over the next three, four, or five years, following the year in which the most recent trophy was awarded. Roll Call also sponsors the Congressional Baseball Hall of Fame. Topic Notable Roll Call staff Catalina Camia, Vice President and Editor for CQ New Kate Ackley, Lobbying Reporter for Roll Call and CQ Magazine Rebecca Adams, Senior Health Care Editor for Roll Call Bridget Bowman, Politics Reporter for Roll Call Eric Garcia, Campaigns Reporter for Roll Call John M. Donnelly, Senior Writer for Roll Call and CQ Magazine Stuart Rothenberg, Political Analyst for Roll Call Nathan Gonzalez, Senior Election Analyst for Roll Call Pablo Monriquez, Communications Director for Roll Call and CQ Magazine Lindsay McPherson, Congressional Correspondent for Roll Call Simone Pathé, Politics Reporter for Roll Call Walter Shapiro, Opinion Writer for Roll Call and Professor of Political Science at Yale University Ed Timms, Editor and Vice President of Roll Call John T. Bennett, White House Correspondent for Roll Call Notable Roll Call alumni Mary Ann Akers, staff writer for Politico Christina Bellantoni, assistant managing editor for Politics, Los Angeles Times Chris Saliza, politics reporter and editor-at-large, CNN Tim Curran, Sunday editor, The Washington Post Steve Dennis, Senate reporter for Bloomberg Matt Fuller, congressional reporter for Huffington Post Emily Heil, co-author The Reliable Source, The Washington Post Ed Henry, Chief National Correspondent, Fox News Channel Paul Kane, Senior Congressional Correspondent, The Washington Post Steve Kurnotsky, National Political Correspondent for NBC News and MSNBC John McArdle, Producer and Co-Host, CSPAN's Washington Journal Nora O'Donnell, Co-Anchor, CBS This Morning Ben Pershing, Managing Editor, National Journal Mark Preston, Executive Editor, CNN Politics Glenn R. Simpson, Founder of Fusion GPS Jake Tapper, Anchor, CNN's The Lead with Jake Tapper and State of the Union Nina Totenberg, Correspondent, National Public Radio Jim Vandehei, Co-Founder and CEO of Axios, Former Executive Editor and Co-Founder of Politico 
Rachel Van Dongen, editor of PowerPost, The Washington Post.